and welcome to my kitchen. My name is Ann Carroll and today I'm going to be showing you a recipe using Philadelphia cooking cream. My recipe is called farfalle and sausage. My recipe includes farfalle, also known as bow tie pasta, chopped carrots, onions, sliced mushrooms, parsley, and some frozen broccoli and cauliflower. And as you can see, the broccoli is a little on the large side, so we need to chop it. This recipe is a fun and easy and delicious way to get your children or people who just really don't like vegetables to eat their vegetables. You can see over here on the stove, we already have our two pots of boiling water. And to our first pot that we're gonna add the pasta to, we're going to add about two tablespoons of olive oil so the pasta doesn't stick to the pan or to each other. And we're going to add some salt to taste. You don't have to do this step, I just prefer to. And then we're going to go ahead and add our pound of pasta to the water. And give it a stir. And then we're going to add our carrots to the second pot of water. Go ahead and stir them in there too. Okay, now we're going to start by uh, pan frying our Italian sausage. And we have them all cut basically about the same shape. And this is so it's more for an even cooking so they get done around about the same time. And we did the same thing with our vegetables. You can have your sausage cooked already from the night before. Okay, the carrots are at the point where they're almost cooked but they're not fully cooked yet. So we need to go ahead and add our broccoli and our cauliflower so they can get nice and tender along with the carrots before we add them to our pasta and our meat. Okay, our pasta is all nice and al dente, so we can drain it now. So, after we drain it, we're gonna put it right back into the pot. Just make sure you get all the water off of there. We don't want all that excess water in our dish. Of this pasta, we're going to add a half a stick of butter. We're going to stir that in and the butter, get it all melted. It's going to make it really nice and rich, have a really good flavor. And after we get all the butter incorporated in there and melted, we're going to go ahead and add our freshly fine chopped parsley. You can use Italian parsley, which is what we're using, or you can just use a normal flat leaf parsley. Whichever one you can get at your local grocery store will work. Now that the vegetables are all tender, we're gonna go ahead and drain those too. We're gonna add our vegetables to our pasta. And now it's time for the star of the show, the Philadelphia cooking cream. We're going to add it into this pot and it's going to become our sauce for our pasta. We want a tub of it and a half and they're both 10 ounce tubs. To this cream we're going to add some finely chopped onion and some minced garlic. I really love garlic, it is my favorite, favorite ingredient. Go ahead and stir in the garlic and the onion. And then we're going to get this on the stove and get it warm. Okay, now that your meat is all nice and golden and really can pretty, we can drain it. And I like to drain it on a plate with a paper towel on it so the paper towel will soak up all that grease. Okay, 
And now after you've drained your sausage, you can go ahead and start adding it to your pasta. And you want to try to get as little grease in there as you can. Okay, now we're going to start sauteing our mushrooms and our garlic. This is about two cloves of garlic. I'm gonna let that work in the pan for a while and then we're gonna go ahead and add our mushrooms after it works for a while. Over here with our Philadelphia cooking cream, we're gonna add about eight ounces of half and half or you can use heavy whipping cream or just milk. This will help thin it out a little bit and spread it throughout our pasta more. Okay, looks like we can go and add our mushrooms to our garlic. I love mushrooms and garlic, they taste really good together. So it looks like you need to add a little bit more olive oil to your pan, you can. And it looks like I need to. And now we're going to add some onions in there. We don't want to get them too soft because I really like them crunchy. It can be a personal preference though. You can have them softer if you'd like to. Now we can go ahead and turn off our mushrooms and our onions and we're going to go ahead and go to the sink and drain off this oil before we add it to our pasta. Pasta is almost done and I'm so excited I'm ready to try it. This is an amazing dish also for entertaining or to bring to a potluck dinner. It's great for Easter since the weekend's coming up. Go and add these back to your dish. Here's our yummy sauce. I'm gonna add it in a little at a time because this is a pretty big dish and we wanna make sure we get all the sauce incorporated into every vegetable and every pasta noodle. You can always cut this recipe down if you don't want to feed as many people as this will feed. If you're just feeding your family, then you're definitely gonna wanna cut this down. Now we can finally add the rest of our sauce. Now it's time to plate our pasta, and I got this little plate here to put it on. So excited, I wish you all could smell this, it smells wonderful. And we're gonna add some of this three cheese Italian blend. It's got Parmesan, Asiago, and Romano cheese. Just gonna sprinkle that down on top. And then we're gonna put some more of our parsley on top for a little garnish. In the oven here, I've made some buttery garlic cheesy French bread. And we're just gonna take that and set it right here on the side of our pasta. So excited to try this, it smells so good. You get all the carrot and the broccoli and the creamy Philadelphia cooking cream and that cheese, it just tastes so wonderful. I can't wait for you to make this and try it.